Well, hello, everyone. It is evening. Right now, I can hear birds. It's a little bit cool because a storm just blew through. And the sun is sinking fast behind me, so hopefully I can get this done before I completely run out of light. It's Friday. And if you're a Christian, we call this holiday Good Friday. And before we talk about why we call it Good Friday, I, I want you to hear a passage uh, from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 53. And to kind of frame the context here and, and why we can call it Good Friday in light of everything that went on that day. God's word says, For he grew up before him like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth, like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent. So he opened not his mouth. The word of the Lord. You know, that's a very evocative passage, especially when you consider that it was written hundreds of years before the time of Christ. Hundreds of years, the prophet Isaiah said these words, and Jesus fulfilled them to the letter in his death on the cross. So why do we call it Good Friday? You read that passage in Isaiah, and it says a lot about grief, about being stricken, about being smitten by God, about bearing on his body our sins and the weight of that. Why do we call it Good Friday? Why do we call it Good Friday when an innocent man was hung on a Roman instrument of torture until he died? Why do we call it Good Friday? Well, the fact of the matter is, if we stopped with the events of the execution of Jesus, there'd be no reason to call it Good Friday. It would just be one more sad story in the oppression of the Jewish people by the Romans. They'd seen it all before. These were public executions. They'd seen men hung on these crosses, stripped naked and left to die. They'd seen it all before. And so they thought, here was just another another rebel to the Roman Empire, hung up to die. But something happened. This was different. Something was different about this. We call it Good Friday because of what happened a couple of days later that shines a new light onto everything that happened. And it's tempting to want to get there and skip over what happens on Friday and skip over the silence of the grave on Saturday. But I don't want you to do that. Today, I want you to pause and I want you to ponder and I want you to consider the sacrifice of Christ on the cross. I want you to consider what it means that he bore your sin on his body. I want you to consider what it means that he laid down his life for you. I want you to consider what it means that the only perfect human being who ever lived did that. The person who least deserved death took it upon himself for you and for me. Just pause for a moment. Think about what that means. Consider the weight of that. Consider that he bore what God, what should have been yours, the punishment that was meant for you he bore 
that. The sun is setting, just like it did 2,000 years ago on a hill outside of Jerusalem where Jesus was crucified, where he breathed his last, where he yelled out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And finally, it is finished, and he died. And everything that he was about should have died with him. The movement, the disciples should have run and hidden. They should have never shown their face again. But there was something else that happened. And we'll get to that in a couple days. But for now, I want you to consider his sacrifice. And in the silence of the tomb on Saturday, I want you to consider that silence, that anticipation as we wait Wait for Sunday, for Easter, and for what that means. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a blessed Good Friday. Go in peace.